We are united in our belief that reproductive health care is essential to everyone. Together, we fight initiatives like Measure 11 that endanger women's health and force us to practice bad medicine. Our job as doctors is to talk to a patient about her options, parenting, adoption, abortion, and then protect her health as she follows through with her decision. By outlawing abortion, Measure 11 makes South Dakota doctors powerless. Even if a woman's health would be compromised by pregnancy, or her baby wouldn't survive past birth, her doctor would be forbidden from giving her the safe medical care she needed. As a family physician, I know that reproductive health is central to overall health. I've practiced medicine in the state of Washington for 28 years, and I've learned that no two women are alike. Each has her own combination of circumstances that makes her want to end or continue a pregnancy. Measure 11 ignores the complex realities of women's lives. It dismisses all thought that women have put into that decision to have an abortion. If I were a doctor in South Dakota, I could only echo what the law has decided for every patient and her family. You will have that baby, no matter what. Even if she told me, but you said my diabetes and heart disease will get worse with this pregnancy, harming both me and the baby. You will have that baby, no matter what. Even if she told me, but you said my baby won't survive. You will have that baby, no matter what. Then I'd wait for the call telling me that one of my patients had tried some other desperate way to have an abortion. Like me, my colleagues in South Dakota have dedicated their lives to helping women and their families stay healthy and strong. They fought another abortion ban in their state two years ago and won. I just spoke with Dr. Marvin Beener, an OBGYN in Rapid City, and he told me about this measure. We physicians are left in the untenable position of trying to make a medical decision with our attorneys rather than with our patients. The threat of a felony is truly frightening. The spike isn't just about South Dakota. If Measure 11 passes, it will set a dangerous precedent for other states to outlaw abortion. We cannot let that happen. Physicians for Reproductive Choice and Health will stand with Dr. Wiener and our colleagues in South Dakota who want to keep caring for their patients. We will stand with the patients who want to know that they're getting the best and safest medical care. We will not let a ballot initiative in South Dakota take away the physician's power to heal.